Do you? You. To. <laughs> Have. Have. A. A. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. Hope everyone is doing well. Happy Valentine's Day as I'm filming this. I ordered a whole bunch of temporary tattoos or semi-permanent tattoos from a brand called Easy Tat. Also, I literally um, cut off my acrylics yesterday. So I ordered a bunch of temporary tattoos because I just want to live that life of having a bunch of tattoos without committing to it. And I remember watching a video of Emma Chamberlain do this years ago and I thought it was so much fun. I literally have a whole heap here. I don't think I'm gonna put them on all at once, but the way these work, I believe they go on quite sheer or pale, but they develop over like 24 to 48 hours and then they last for about like one to two weeks, I'm pretty sure. I've got like a little snake. This one I ripped. As I was opening it, I was thinking, careful, don't rip it, Connor. And I ripped the biggest one, but hopefully I can still get it to work. <laughs> This is so random. I've got like a little Cupid or, no, is that Cupid or Cherub? Oh, I just dipped my dress in Charlie's water bowl. I've got a little lightning bolt. <laughs> got a nice rose, a big butterfly, a bee. I've got two of the word baby. Got another butterfly. Flames. <laughs> Basically, the directions say to wash and dry the skin and then clean the area with an alcohol wipe. Once completely dry, peel off the clear film. Then you're gonna place the tattoo firmly on your skin, hold a damp cloth against it for 20 seconds and peel off the paper. As you do with temporary tattoos. Oh my God, okay, I've already done two because I was filming my TikTok. Ah! Oh my gosh, okay. You can see how like light that is. I did the snake, decided to do it there and I just did a bumblebee. It says to wipe the area down with an alcohol wipe first. I kind of want to do the words baby on my hand or is that weird? Although the little cherub on my hand could be kind of cute. And then you just peel off the film and I'm going to place him down on my finger. And then I'm going to get my, my flannel and just press him down for like 20 seconds. There you go. <laughs> This is some quality content. <laughs> and then when you peel it off, it like disappears from the wrapper and it appears on your finger. Okay, I did that in a different spot. Oh, I feel like I'm too scared to use them all. Is she straight? Does that look straight to you? Wait. Okay, this is so exciting. I'm definitely most excited for the snake. I can't wait to see what that looks like. I would totally get like a whole bunch of like sticker tattoos. I just have a feeling that like, oh, we'll regret it later in life. If tattoos weren't like permanent, permanent, for sure I would get that. They didn't have any Rottweilers on the website. Because I could have got a picture of you. They get so like slippery and it freaks me out because I feel like I'm messing it up. Okay, Mr. B is on the arm. Um, okay, my camera's flashing dead. I don't know about anyone else, but I'm just watching all the Super Bowl halftime shows. But I just got a package from White Fox and I want to show you everything. Since it is Valentine's Day today, my boyfriend and I are going to go on a little dinner date. We're actually going to like recreate the first date that we went on, which is kind of cute. We're going to go to dinner and then we went to an arcade afterwards. So we're going to do that. It is super rainy and gross right now. And apparently we have a guest here. Also, do I suit these glasses? Yes or no? I think they're kind of cool. They're giving like, you know, festival glasses or like dad glasses. But I think they're cool. They're from White Fox as well. I'll chuck everything down below if you want to check any of it out and you can use the discount code on the screen to always save some money off of White Fox. I love these tees that White Fox do. They'll do like the pastels with like the bubble writing or they'll be like super bright colors and I just think they look really really cool. So this is just like a pastel purple color. White Fox Leisure Volume 3.5. Also this is what the tattoos look like so far. This one feels the most like crispy if that makes sense. The other ones I literally can like barely see. So, oh, wow. Okay, next I have this really cute little simple ribbed bralette. Sometimes these scare me because I don't want them to be like super, super nipply. I mean, sometimes you just can't avoid it. If it's cold, what are you gonna do? But this is the most comfortable thing I've ever put on my body. I don't love wearing bras because like, honestly, who does? This is super cute. Like I would wear this even to the gym on like a light body session. <laughs> You watch your mum. Um, it looks like that on the back. Um, also don't mind the bruising that I have from the gym. And you can see it's kind of like that ribbed texture. Super, super comfy. Um, these are also just some like little white fox shorts that I've had for ages. Really nice and stretchy, like it's not super tight. 
And I think that's so cute. Okay, then I have some jeans. White Fox do the best jeans because they fit my waist and they fit my legs without having massive gaps everywhere. So these are just like a classic like mum style jean, I would say. Like literally most of my jeans that I wear are from White Fox. These are in a size small and I think that fits me really nicely. I'm so excited for jean weather. It's still like slightly too hot to wear jeans. Don't mind me just changing in my living room. It's fine, no one's home. It's still just a little bit too hot, at least at the moment. Oh my God, they fit perfectly. I think I might've just found the best pair of mum jeans ever. Where am I gonna be able to show you this? These fit me perfectly. They're not too crazy long. Like if I have a pair of shoes on, that's gonna be fine. That's what they look like from the back. That's the length of the men. Ooh, it's so dirty up here. Oh my. That's like a really nice fit on me, I reckon. Oh wow. Big success. Then I got this top and I was a little bit scared. So hopefully it fits my boobs. This is certainly out there. <laughs> No, I love it. It's almost in like a linen material, which I didn't expect actually. Does that look cute? I think it does. I love how it kind of shows off my tattoo. That fits really well. She's definitely risque, that's for sure. But that's cute. I love the no back. I definitely feel very secure. This could be a contender for tonight. <laughs> even with the jeans. I don't show my boobs off like a whole heap and I kind of wish I did. But yeah, you can kind of see it's like a linen, a linen fabric. I picked up just a plain little ribbed tank because I don't own many like full length t-shirts because I'm just always wearing crop tops. This is really cute, especially with the jeans. It's like a nice length. It's not like super, super long where I have all this fabric to deal with. <laughs> oh, just a nice basic to have. I feel like this would look really cool if you left it undone. Um, you can buy these separately as well. Is this cool? I'm not sure because I'm only looking in the viewfinder. I need to go look in my mirror and just like see if that looks cool or not. Like, is it cool? Can I pull this off? I think because I'm so short, it looks a bit funny on me. But I think these pants paired with the white top, like this pair together is kind of cool. It's definitely an out there print. Okay, next I got this little bikini crochet, which I think looks really cute. Obviously you'd use this for a little bikini beach situation. I feel like you could wear the top like just as a top though, because it is pretty opaque. Like I don't feel like you can see too much nippage happening. Oh, my dad's ringing me. My camera died and I ran out of time. So I'm gonna continue the haul when I get home. But as you can see, it is bucketing down right now and I have to make it out of the car with my laptop, my bag, but I'm gonna get soaked. And I tried to do my hair, but it's just the humidity plus the rain. I haven't decided on what I'm gonna wear tonight. If the weather's gonna be like this, I, I don't know if there's any point in trying to look cute. But at the moment, I've just got on the little bando, not bando, the little crop with the jeans. I'm gonna just chuck my laptop. I've got my little Valentine's Day car because I'm a cutie. Okay, let's see how we go. When I got these pants, I genuinely thought they had sent the wrong size. However, they are supposed to like cinch in a whole heap and then you just tie them around your waist. So I'll show you better in a minute. I'm just gonna change the top into something a little bit less risque. Then I have this top, which kind of reminds me of like a ballroom costume top, especially with my makeup right now. It's in like a very sheer fabric. So it just zips up at the back. It's not very stretchy. So make sure you kind of get your right size. It's definitely like tight. I think this is really cute though. Well, oh my God, I didn't even finish showing you the pants. Wait, I definitely need to hem them a bit. That's what they look like. So they're just like a nice pair of like flowy pants and super, super comfy. Lots of give, obviously. Then this is probably my favorite thing that I got. I wore this in a recent TikTok and a couple of you were asking where it's from. To me, this is giving like pajama vibes because it's like a little set, but I feel like you could totally wear the top just as like a normal top. You can see it comes with like the little shorts. So cute. And then the top just looks like this. Really nice and flattering. It's got a little bow. It's such a cute little pajama set. When I put it on, even Elise was like, oh my God, that is so cute. I think they have it in pink as well. This would be so cute to wear to like a sleepover or like your boyfriend's house or something. And then lastly, I have this beautiful dress. I don't know where I'm gonna wear it, but oh my God, it is stunning. This is what she looks like. So it's very like asymmetrical vibes. The top of it is, I think this is how it goes. So it twists in the middle. It's like an off the shoulder vibe on this side, but this is like on the shoulder. And the back of it looks like that. And it's kind of in that spandexy fabric. And then it's like fully cut out on the middle. I feel like 
You'd almost not want to wear underwear with this because it does cut down really low. Very, very glamorous. Definitely a very like formal event, but also something that you can kind of be a bit exposed. Like I don't think you could wear this to a wedding really. And then finally, I have a five piece ring set. I've only got four of the rings because one of them is at my boyfriend's house, but I love these because they're not like super tacky. Sometimes I find like ring sets, which are so good to buy if you do love that like stacky look. Sometimes I find myself only liking like one of the rings and then the rest are kind of like, oh. So these are so pretty. And I think three of them are adjustable, which I love to me, like all rings should be adjustable. So that's what they look like. Yeah, that's everything that I picked up from White Fox. Again, thank you so much to White Fox for sponsoring this weekly vlog. I'll probably be wearing some of these things throughout the video anyway. Um, but yeah, if you want to check anything out, down below and you can use the code on the screen to save some money. Can I please get a grande iced latte on almond milk? That's everything. Awesome, thanks so much. Go. Can you hear me? Go speak. <laughs> I am! No, like say a new sentence. Um, you have a funny accent. Slower. <laughs> you. Do you? <laughs> you. Two. <laughs> oh shit, okay. You. What again? You. What? <laughs> you. You, is it me? Yeah. Have. Have. A. A. <laughs> funny. Funny. Accent. Asshole. <laughs> you have a funny accent. Accent. Mm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Arsehole. Fire up. I. I. Love. Love. You. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> Charlie. Charlie? Is. <laughs> Charlie is a menace. Charlie has pissed. <laughs> is a menace. Charlie is the best. Is a menace. Is a piss. No. <laughs> is a menace. A menace. Menace. Let's just start again. So Charlie. Is. Is. A. Has. Charlie, Charlie is, is a, a menace. Bitch, we gotta get there. <laughs> Charlie is a has a or is a like I'm. There's no way you're gonna be able to confirm to me. Is a mm -hmm. menace. Pest. Best. Menace. Penis. Menace. Oh, so two syllables. Uh huh. You're a menace, Charlie. You make shit. What? Charlie. Ch Charlie is, is a a menace. Menace! What was it? You're not a menace, mama. What Charlie is a menace. Oh, the M. Yeah. That I was, I, I just keep seeing your lips close and I was like, V or P. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie, at one point I literally called you a bitch and then another time I called you a penis. I'm so excited for my 24th birthday. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. That was just like, blah. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so tired. I'm so excited. I'm showing tiles. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Yeah, for, for my, my birthday. Yeah. No, well, for my 24th birthday. Say it again. For my 24th birthday. For my 24th birthday. Because I'm going to be middle-aged. Is that what you said? <laughs> Elise likes growing vegetables in the garden. Elise has... No. Elise likes growing vegetables in the garden. Elise likes... Growing... Something about vegetables in the car? <laughs> No, I'm not kidding. That's what I see. That's what I see. What I look like. Elise likes growing vegetables in the garden. Oh, Elise likes growing vegetables in the garden. Yeah. Man, I'm getting good at this. Oh, my neck sore. Good morning. It is Thursday today. My period is either coming like right now or she's on her way. It's actually meant to be here. I think it's due in two days. Let me have a little look see on my flow app. Two days. Yes. And I just had some period cramps on the way here. So I'm like, oh, she's coming. Uh, which explains, I mean, I feel like I have hormonal breakouts a lot, like not just around my period, which is super, but I've got like an enormous blind pimple here. A direct correlation to my period, I would say. I'm at the gym. I had a rest day yesterday. Essentially, people ask me what my like training split is all the time. I need to be- Listen! I would love to be a little bit more consistent with how I'm training. I think part of the reason is because my gym is not 
near my house. You might ask yourself, why don't you go to a gym near your house? I don't really like any of them near my house. And I really, really like this gym. So all other gyms are just like shit in my eyes. I would say I'm training about probably like three to four times a week. I would much rather that be four to five. It really just depends on my schedule. Plus I train with my boyfriend a lot. So sometimes if like he's not feeling the gym, then obviously I'm like, okay, like, let's just not go today. And then I've got my running in there as well. I would say I'm running around two times a week, mostly sometimes two to three. Ideally, I would love it to be two to three. And then usually like on days that I run, I don't usually go to the gym or I'll do like upper body. I don't really ever do a run and legs. I'm probably training like three to four times a week. I would say around the four mark, um, which I'm happy with for. I just want to build my strength better. I've also started taking creatine, so I will keep you updated on that because I know so many women are terrified of creatine. Okay, I'm going to go in, get prepared, do my gym poo, let's lift some heavy things. Sunday today by the way and I'm so sorry I have not vlogged. I get period cramps kind of like leading up to my period. I might get some cramps like randomly like a week before and then like a couple of days before and then like day one day two cramping and then they usually go away. I went to the beach yesterday and then in the afternoon I literally got the worst period cramps I've had in a while. Like I was crying, they were that painful. And I've taken some naprogesic, but my gosh, I don't know what is happening. Elise is also on her period because we are synced up exactly. She's getting really bad cramping and I don't know what's happening. Usually naprogesic like nips it in the butt and it goes away within like 10, 15 minutes. <sighs> For some reason, they're just really like, I will not be going to the gym today. I will not be doing anything other than probably like a walk or something. By the way, the tattoos are definitely fading quite quickly. I mean, I did swim in the ocean yesterday, so that probably didn't help. This one's still really good. I've been getting really bad hormonal breakouts around my jaw. Clearly I just started my period, so that's fine. I'm having a worse than normal breakout around my jaw. I've been doing a bit of research because it's obviously hormonal, so something that I'm doing is making this flare up. But I also feel like it's like looking for a needle in a haystack. I know the first thing I should do is go see a naturopath. They can definitely help me get to the bottom of it, but I just want to try and maybe do a few things myself. Maybe do a bit of an elimination diet and just see if it makes a difference. Before I say anything, I'm not a professional. This is just my own research. Don't listen to me. <laughs> but I've been doing a little bit of um, reading into eggs and apparently they can be a bit of a trigger for hormonal, ac hormonal, ac hormonal, oh, <laughs> hormonal acne. Any inflammatory foods essentially can flare up your skin and make it worse. Coffee's a big one. Eggs apparently because they have a lot of progress, <laughs> progesterone, progress, pro Oh my god, how do I say that word? Wait, progress, pro, pro, progesterone, progress, pro, oh my god. Because eggs are high in that word, that I, progesterone, they can be a trigger for hormonal acne, and I eat a lot of eggs, so I'm gonna try and just cut them out and just see what happens. And it's so sad because I love eggs, and it will be heartbreaking to see if eggs are in fact the trigger. I'm also kind of curious to see if dairy does anything. I probably shouldn't just like cut everything out at once because then it's like, well, you don't actually know what's the trigger. It could be gluten, it could be dairy, it could be none of these things. And it's really, it's just my stress levels that I need to bring down. And it's also frustrating because I did go on Accutane and there's a part of me that's like, I shouldn't be dealing with this because I went on Accutane. But I also know that people go on Accutane one, two, three times. So, oh, I'm having a really bad cramp. Ow. 
I don't know, but something in the last like couple weeks has really caused some sort of like flare up. Like I usually have a few hormonal breakouts going at all times, but it's pretty bad at the moment. And I'm just like, oh, what have I started eating? What have I started doing that might be causing this? There's also like the running aspect that I'm like, oh, I hope that's not like something impacting my hormones because that can happen for some people because it raises your cortisol levels. Sometimes people say with HIIT training, you can get really bad breakouts because your body is under so much stress that it raises your cortisol levels and makes you break out and blah, blah, blah. I swear the female hormone system and just how our skin is so responsive to everything that we do is really frustrating sometimes. Because I don't want to stop running, I don't want to stop this. And I know I'm probably going to get a lot of influx of people telling me that I'm wrong or I should try this or whatever. I'm just sharing what's in my brain right now. My main thing is I'm going to try and cut out eggs as best as I can because eggs are in like everything. I'm just going to do my best to avoid eggs. I'm also going to try and limit my dairy. I don't actually eat that much dairy anyway. Um, so that's not too bad, but yeah, I'm thinking since there is a lot of information saying that eggs can be a big trigger of hormonal acne, if that is the case, that's so easy for me to just cut out straight away. And then I feel like if none of that works, then I might go see a naturopath. And I know my acne is all hormonal because it's just, it's just here. I never break out anywhere else, like never on my forehead, never really like on my cheeks. Oh, well, sometimes on my cheeks, but it's always just... But on the agenda for today, honestly, nothing much. I feel like my weeks lately have been so boring. So the weekly vlogs are boring. My life is just kind of, I'm settled. I'm not moving anywhere. I've been here for more than two years. I'm not like traveling anywhere. And that's fine. I'm just in that phase of life at the moment. But then it kind of makes me bored with what to film in the weekly vlogs. And I've been really conflicted about it because I want to produce content that I'm proud of. And I'm not really proud of my content at the moment. Also, I'm so excited because you guys know how much I love a good little instant coffee sachet well naked harvest have just come out with their kind of version of instant coffee sachets even though i do have my beautiful coffee machine i just i'm lazy elise uses it she uses it all the time so i feel like it's getting some use out of it but they just came out with this like clarity coffee first of all i really love the packaging super cute they have a vanilla one and a mocha one wait where's the flavors written on these this is the vanilla and this is the mocha flavor. The vanilla has... No. Where did I read 88 milligrams? I'm so... That, on the box and on the package, the vanilla says it has caffeine content from coffee, 100 milligrams. I think that's pretty standard. The Before You Speak, I believe, is about 115 milligrams. Oh. On the box of this one, it says 88 milligrams for caffeine, but then on the package it says 100 milligrams. So, I don't know. That's a bit weird. Um, but I've had both the flavors and I rate them. I think they taste really nice. The vanilla is probably my favorite one. So if you're after some good coffee, check out the Naked Arms one.